Hello, my name is Steve Mulberry with GIS Inc. Uh, and in today's video snippet, I'm going to be joined by my colleague, Emerson Chu, who is a solution engineer within our water team here at GIS Inc. And first off, uh, thanks Emerson for joining me today. Hey Steve, uh, thanks so much. I'm glad to be here. Today, we want to explore the ability to um, isolate assets uh, within the ArcGIS Utility Network, focusing on the water distribution infrastructure. So Emerson, can, can you explain to us why this might be important? Sure, Steve. This capability gives users of the water system the ability to rapidly fund and isolate sections of the network that might be affected by a leak and determine what valves are needed to turn off the water flow. This process also allows the GIS team to validate the existence of critical features that might be missing from the GIS that are needed to run the isolation trace. This is a preemptive measure that allows GIS staff to determine if features may possibly be, me be missing from the GIS. Let me show you an example. So one of the major improvements with the utility network is the out-of-the-box traces provided. In this example, I have a known leak depicted with the green dot. By using the isolation trace tool, I can immediately determine to isolate the problem area. I'll let the trace run now to determine which valves will need closing. The trace is traversing the network, looking for controllable valves needed to turn the water supply off. Once these are returned, I can immediately start assigning a team to begin work in the area. I can also check the box to include isolated features. When I run this trace, I'll get back a list of all features that will be affected by the isolation. If addresses or other pertinent information are assigned to these points, we can then start to notify users of the outage. Again, highlighting the importance of the new isolation trace right out of the, the, the toolbox. So Emerson, I see that you are running uh, this isolation trace from ArcGIS Pro. How does the isolation trace work in other devices like a, like a web browser? Sure, Steve. Let me show you another example of that as well. So not only can I perform these traces directly in Pro, but the UN allows for tracing via a web browser or mobile phone. Here in this example, I have an isolation trace configured via the Web App Builder developer. I simply configure an isolation trace, set a flag, and then run the tool. It should be noted that while this is available with the geometric network, the isolation trace the UN provides is much easier to configure and maintain. There are no nightly tasks to run or high level of efforts maintenance-wise. This makes it easy to use the isolation trace, or any trace for that matter, in a web or mobile format. Okay, so to summarize then, the ArcGIS Utility Network allows us to access fast, reliable, and authoritative data on any device anywhere and the ability to perform advanced analytics and functions such as the, iso uh, the isolation trace, which, which you just showed us. And what's interesting is you pointed out running an isolation trace can help identify and determine if features are missing from the utility network model. Yes, that's exactly correct, Steve. It's a good preemptive approach to do validity checks on your data. So we don't have to use it just during an emergency or when a, an actual leak occurs. You can use it before an event occurs to ensure that your data, integ your, your data integrity is where it needs to be to perform these isolation traces. So a good preemptive measure as well. Excellent, Emerson. So I really appreciate you taking time to walk through one, one of the many capabilities found in the new ArcGIS Utility Network and giving us that overview, specifically the isolation tracing process. Uh, and those uh, who are watching this recording, thank you for joining and look for more of these short video snippets on the ArcGIS Utility Network as we get closer to our webinar where we will go much deeper into this technology. Thank you. Thank you.